Welcome to the OTK Camera SDK video tutorial on computer vision. This is the fourth video of this series. In this video, you will see a step-by-step -step tutorial on how does an edge detecting application works. I hope you will like this tutorial. First, let me tell you exactly what is edge detection and what is it used for. Edge detection is one of the main part of image analysis, image and computer vision technology. Edge detection can be used to capture changes in wide scale. With the help of edge detection, you can capture discontinuities on surfaces, changes and variations, which can be extremely helpful in the branch of construction or even in face recognition. Discontinuities can be easily captured with the edge detection function. It is possible to use it for checking different devices for defects or even put back checks. Before I start, let me give you a brief introduction on the Uzoki Camera SDK. The software development kit is really easy to use. One of its uh, great advantages is that it's only compliant. Moreover, it is an all-purpose tool. No matter if you don't have any experience in C-sharp development, I'm sure you will easily be able to implement the solutions shown in this video. Here are some tools which are necessary to have uh, before you start the implementation of any computer vision solution. You will need to have a Windows computer, .NET framework, Visual Studio, some kind of camera, and the Uzaki camera SDK software. If you have these requirements, then you are ready to implement great computer vision solutions. First, we need to download the Ozeki Camera SDK from the www.camera-sdk.com website. On the home page, you click on the download menu. Then you click on the link and fill in the form with your name and email address. Once the download is ready, we install the software. The installation is pretty simple. You just need to click on the next button, then install. The installation will take a couple of minutes though. When the installation is done, you click on the finish button and here we can see the Ozaki Camera SDK software product running on our computer. Now you need to open the Visual Studio after opening the Visual Studio project, you have to add the VoIP SDK.dll to the references. You can do it in the Solution Explorer. Click on the references, right click and add references. Here you can uh, select uh, the VoIP SDK.dll. On the how to achieve edge detection in c -sharp web page, we can see the path where we can access this example program. Now let's open the example program in Visual Studio and now the fun part begins. First of all, this is the GUI of the edge detecting application.
Now, let's dig deeper in the codes. First, we have to add the Ozaki Media Media Handlers Video CV Process namespace. We have to apply the using lines to qualify the namespace. The next step is to provide the global variable in the public partial class. First, we should provide the web camera instance with which we can get the images of the camera device. Secondly, the media connector which connects to the media handlers. Then provide the image process handler which operates with the instances on the incoming video. We have to apply the eye edge detector member which stands for the recognition. With the help of a frame capture function, we can set the sequence of the processing. The video viewer is a WinForm user control and enables you to show the video on the GUI. The last member of this class is Drawing Image Provider, which creates WinForms images for the video viewer from the images on the camera device. Now let's see the methods we have to use. In the init method, the initialization of the members take place. Here we can create an instance for the frame capture and the IH detector. The set video viewers method generates the circumstances of displaying the video. The original view control will display the image from the camera and the processed view control will display the detected edges from the camera. The init detector fields method uses the settings of the IH detector complete the text boxes on the GUI. The connect webcam method is used when we want to connect the media handlers and to receive the original and the processed images from the web camera. The last method is the start method, which is responsible for starting the camera device and the video displays on the GUI. In this part, we can provide some configuration for the line detector. We can set the values of the finding uh, strong edges, the pixels of the edges, and we can decide the color as well. Now, I connect the USB camera to my computer. And start the application. Here we can see the original and the processed image, where we can see the edge detection. Now I stop our application. As we can see, this is a great camera SDK. First of all, it's all with compliant, which is a really good feature. Plus, it is easy to use. That is a great advantage. And last but not least, it's an all-purpose tool, which is such a useful feature. If you like this video and want to learn more about our other great solutions and want to get some more information, then visit our website at the www camera-sdk.com 
Now we will be try a version of the Adobe Camera SDK and follow our tutorial videos. If you have any questions, then send us an email to the info at camera-sdk.com. In the next video, you will see a step-by-step -step tutorial in connection with object categorization. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time.